pretty famous economic rappers today. We have on my left, we have yeah. dropping the L. We got dropping the L in the building. Y'all make some noise for dropping the L, dropping the L. And on my right, we got money mine in the building. Make some money for money mine, money mine. So, uh, going first. Check you said me you out after the show, right? Here you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's first? Doesn't matter when he goes first. Yeah. What do you want to go in first, Monty? Look at this. Oh, man. What you got? Oh, what you got? Let's see something. Let's okay. see something. Okay. Okay. So, who's going first? Dropping the L, you want to go first? My boy, Monty, thinks that wants our needs. Mm -hmm. He talks about having you. <laughs> He talks about humans having to feed or even doing the dirty deed. <laughs> Young teenage minds, he does lead, but psych ignores the economic creed, which John Kenneth Galbraith taught us to heed. People can live without worldly things, even serfs and kings. Now many young women want the diamond rings, searching for that happiness they think it will bring, when it only creates a nasty budget sting. Oh! oh! So, let me, so let me spit one final bar. We all know and want that fancy car, or to travel near and far, to watch the hottest pop rap star, or dip the hand into that proverbial cookie jar. But find your economic voice, because there is always a choice. I like that. Where to beat at, though? Oh, oh. Rapping with the drums, bro. Drop you that have, beat. You have drums and no beat. All right, so we now have, after that great performance, we have you, 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 you still got tape on your band. <laughs> Ten bands. Ten Fire. 